while writing test cases it is very common to test a class which has dependencies or sometimes we may want to mimic the behavior of real objects but how it can be done this is very simple and this is where mockito comes into the picture so mockito means mock the objects that means simulate the behavior of real objects and not only that Mockito is especially useful when we want to write test cases for those classes which has dependencies on other classes of components. So developers don't have to worry about the dependencies behavior. Developers just have to write the test cases considering that dependencies will be provided in a real time with the help of mocking of the objects. Now how it can be done, what it requires to set up the few terminologies uh, we may need to learn for using the Mockito. So hi everyone, this is Puneet Brower. Welcome to Coding with Puneet. So today in this video we will discuss about the Mokito, how can we write the test cases with the help of Mokito and few terminologies which is very very important. So I would say do not skip this video anywhere in between. So let's get started quickly. So I have already created one sample project for Mokito. This is the same project we had used during unit test cases. So first of all the dependencies, these are the two dependencies we need for Mokito. I'll tell you about why these two dependencies. After that, let's say I have one calculator class and this is the class for which I want to write the test cases with the help of Mokito. In this video, I will also tell you multiple ways of writing test cases with the help of Mokito. With that, I will also tell you about a few terminologies could be when, then written and so many things. So do not skip this video anywhere in between. Okay, let's say I want to create test case for this calculator. I have already created one test case for that. And what we do here, we create the object of calculator and then we call add function here, passing two arguments, two and three, and then asserting that with the help of assert equals function, expecting five, and the result is also five. This is what we used to do without the Mokito. But now, how can we write the test case with the help of Mokito? So, see the difference here. I am writing one test is here let's say fun add using mokito you can also go through my github profile in the mokito where i added few more examples using the mokito i have given the link of my github profile in the description let's become friends there okay coming here now let's say i want to create the object of calculator class but i will not directly create the object like this here i will use one function that is a mock here i'll pass for which class i want to create a mock object this is the difference between mocking and without mocking and let's say now i'll use when when calculator dot add two comma three then return 5 and this is how I am mocking the behavior. I am simulating it in such a way that whenever add function of this calculator mock object is called with these two arguments then always return 5 doesn't matter what and then I will assert that using the assert equals functions and there I will see if in actual I am passing two arguments that is 2 and 3 is it actually returning 5 or not. Let's run this test case and see how it looks perfect our test case has been passed here because it was expecting 5 and return 5 let's say i change it to 6 whenever we call 2 and 3 it should return 6 now whenever i call this function it should return 6 but i am passing as a 5 which is the correct value but still this test case should be fit let's run it out now Again, yes, this is fail. See, now we all know that whenever we call add function with 2 and 3, the output should be 5. But I am mocking it and creating intentionally as a 6, not 5. In that case, it should return as a 6. And this is the beauty of Mokito. We can simulate the behavior of functions as per our own intention. Got it? Okay. Now, I will tell you second way of using the Mokito. For example, let's say we have a calculator class with dependency this calculator class has a dependency on some other class and this class has the functions for example add or multiply and calculator class use the this dependency class to add that this is what i was talking about initially let's say if we have a class with dependencies then how can we write the test cases for those classes this is where mokito comes into the picture again okay so let's say i want to write test case for this class right click on that generate same story test 
yes calculator with dependency test click on ok and then ok great so we have our calculator with dependency test class now here two or three very important things so listen very very carefully if you want to learn that now i want to create instance of the calculator class for example let's give it name as calculator with dependency okay see our motto is to create instance of calculator class but this require instance of some other class that means this has a dependency on some other class let's use before annotation here let's create any function but we need dependency here i'll tell you how can we create the dependency and this is where we use one annotation mock and if we are using some annotation we have to initialize that before that i will use mockito annotations dot initialize this mocks with the current class now here as we are using mockito this class dependency already executed so this is the same thing i had told you earlier that we don't have to worry about the dependencies we have to actually concentrate on the functionality or identifying and testing the bugs in the code if there is any now our setup is ready let's say again i want to write the test case here same for example when watch carefully here what i am doing if dependencies add function is called with two and three arguments then return five so whenever a dependency function is called with two and three return five now let's get the result here my calculator dot add so i am calling my calculator function here which in turn calling the my dependency function where if i am calling 2 and 3 this dependency should return 5 that means this calculator function also should return the 5 as a result so here use assertion again it should return 5 and let's check it out with the result and now let's run this test case and see it should be passed now perfect if you can see here this test case has been passed so this is how we write the test cases with the help of mockito and there are various ways to do that write test cases using mockito could be mock annotation could be mock init mock could be mock function could be mockito jnet runner so there are so many ways to write the test cases with the help of mockito annotation so thank you so much everyone i hope that you have got good understanding on writing test cases with the help of mockito and if you want more such relatable videos for example writing ui test cases unit test cases with the help of robo electric hamcrest and so on you can watch out those videos on my youtube channel and if you like this video i would say please subscribe to our channel see you in the next video take care bye bye